Hey guys, this is Tide in the Gear Lab, and I'm here to talk about the five things that you need to know about the Rover boot. The first thing you need to know is what is a Roper boot? Basically, a Roper boot falls under the cowboy boot class. It looks like a cowboy boot, but the very distinct difference with that between other like true cowboy boots, the heel is actually a little bit shorter, and you'll notice that the shaft is also a little bit shorter than traditional cowboy boots. So why does that matter? Why is it important? Basically, back in the 50s, ranchers needed something a little bit more functional. The traditional cowboy boot just wasn't really cutting it, so they shortened the heel, they shortened the shaft. This makes it more easy to wear and a little bit more functional when you're riding a horse, or when you're on the ranch, when you're on the ground. But the punchline here is that the Roper boot was designed to be a little bit more functional than your traditional cowboy boots that you see in a Western movie or from traditional cowboy boot brands. So the second thing you need to know about the Roper boot is why we made it. A few things that we wanted to do was actually make this a little bit more accessible to our customer. We wanted to find that sweet spot with marrying both premium quality, comfort, fit, and being a little bit more subtle and more subdued and not having some crazy loud cowboy boot. So the number three thing that you need to know is the actual product and the design details. So going in from the bottom up, what we're gonna start off with is the outsole. So we have two different pieces of the outsole here. We have the forefoot and then we have the heel. The forefoot here is made out of leather. As you can see, we have Rhodes debossed here. The really cool thing about this is that this is the style that will actually break in, it will age, it will become very unique and build character as you wear it. The heel is a rubber heel, so this will actually provide that first amount of uh, you know, stability, that traction when you first put the boot on. When you get into the heel, a lot of people actually think the heel is made out of wood because it's very, very dense. It has this kind of grainy, wood grainy looking texture. This is actually just a very, very dense leather. So the welt is actually a 270 welt, basically from the point where you see the piping all the way to the front or the toe of the boot. That's gonna be a 270 welt. Going into the upper of the boot, first off, we have the vamp. So the thing to know about this is this is toe box. This is the where your forefoot is. And then you get up into this point, which is sometimes called the crown. And then you have the shaft. So the shaft is basically the part that goes around your ankle. It goes all the way up to, you know, probably your mid calf. And then going into the inside of the boot, we have fully leather lined style. And then last but not least, what you'll see on the heel is that we have some anti-slip leather. Basically, it's a more rough textured leather. It's there to catch your heel when you're walking in it. It helps prevent some heel slip. So obviously this is a style that you're gonna wanna make sure you wear boot socks with. The other style that I have here to my left is the Roper Boot Caliber. So the main difference here is that we actually went with an actual 360 welt. So you'll see the welt go all the way around the boot. And then you'll see the stitching here. It's a little bit more prominent because we didn't dye the edges and we didn't paint over it. And then the other thing, obviously, it was gonna be the outsole. So this has a wedgie outsole. The reason why we designed this boot to sit next to the classic Roper boot is because we wanted something that was a little bit more comfortable. We know that our customers don't necessarily love to break things in. So this is gonna be a little bit more comfortable right out of the box. So when you're thinking about, you know, a style to buy, which one do I need? You know, if you're someone who's gonna prioritize comfort right out of the box, this might be more for you. If you're someone who's gonna actually want something a little bit more traditional, a little bit more inspired by heritage, this is gonna be more true to form. So diving into the colorways of the boot, we have the umber colorway here. This is a seasonal color that we launched last year. Basically what you're seeing is all suede on this upper. It is a waxy suede, so it does show some nice character right out of the box. Basically every boot is slightly different because of the waxy texture, because of how we treat it. Basically this is intentional. Again, we don't want this to look flat coming out of the box. We want this to already look a little bit lived in, but still premium and still fresh. The other colorways to look at is the tobacco colorway. So this colorway is also offered in our classic Roper boot. Tobacco is one of the colors that our customer loves. As you can see, there's nice highs and lows. It will nice, it will break in over time. It will patina nicely over time and very, very doable leather. The other color that we have is Hickory. Hickory also has a lot of nice highs and lows. As you can see, we want this look lived in as soon as you pull it out of the box. So the fourth thing to know is the sizing. And in my opinion, it's the most important thing about this boot before you make a purchase or before you try it on. When it comes to sizing, few things that actually become big, big, big challenges for this boot are one, what customers actually expect, and two, their actual knowledge about this boot. Typically, most people who are first time boot buyers will not know what to expect when they're buying their first Roper boot or their first cowboy boot. So typically, if this is your first boot, you're gonna compare it to what you typically wear. Maybe other boots, maybe sneakers. This is a dead fit style. So when you try the style on, a few things to note is that you actually should be experiencing some heel slip. A few things that we do to counter that is actually put, like, as I mentioned earlier in the build, the anti-slip heel. Basically, as you're walking or you're, you know, you're stepping, 
this part of the boot should be catching your foot and you should be feeling a little bit of heel slip when you're walking. Again, this is natural. Over time, yes, this will slightly expand. It will kind of grow and it kind of mold to your foot. So the other thing to know is that what really helps when you're trying to find your right size, if you talk to CX, our customer experience team, and you know your actual foot measurements. One of the most helpful tools that we actually use when we're developing footwear is a Brannock device. If you don't have one of those, you don't need to buy one. You can use a ruler at home. You can measure what's called the ball girth, or basically from the actual like, joint of your big toe to the width of your pinky toe. You can measure that, and then the length, the longest point up from your toe to your heel. So once you have those two measurements, you can go to our site, and that should put you in the ballpark of finding your right size. If you're in doubt, reach out to our customer experience team and we can help you find your fit. The fifth thing to know is how to style this boot. Obviously, wear this with pants. Jeans work great. When you're wearing this boot and you have jeans over the shaft, it looks like a normal boot. Basically, it looks like you're wearing a Chelsea boot, but it's a little bit more sleek. Again, it's a little bit more rugged. You have different design details, different character. So thanks again for watching five things to know about the Roper boot. We really hope you learned something. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please drop them in the comments below. We really want to help you find your fit. So if you have any questions, please reach out to the customer experience team. This is Tide signing off from the Gear Lab. We'll see you out there.